Diagnosis Center in Chicago. He's received recognition for his work, including the 1991 Metzinger Award. He received his hypnosis training from the National Hypnosis Institute, and since 1970 has been a hypnosis instructor at Morton College and Wright College in Chicago, and facilitates courses and workshops at many community organizations and private groups. Larry developed a system of electronic hypnosis that enables contact with several clients at the same time through closed circuit TV. Not content on just seeing one person That's at right. a time. No, Larry. That's right. Larry conducts lecture programs at colleges and high schools and has worked with Chicago police in investigation. His private practice attracts clients from many other countries. Not even satisfied with just working in this country. Right. Okay, good for you. Please give a warm uh, NGH welcome for Larry Garrett. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Leandra. Well, great. I'm excited. I, I'm excited, and at the same time, uh, Pat, as, uh, you've been a couple of the workshops I've done. Who else has been a couple of the workshops I've done here? Anybody? No. Well, I'll... I'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, with with um, the electronics, every year uh, I really have other choices. I, I like to get more philosophical about hypnosis and, and the mind and what goes on. But Dwight Damon's always pushing me into this area of electronics. And, and I don't know if it's he wants a movement towards that direction or what, is that what it was? <laughs> okay. And uh, as uh, you know, Scott Giles, some of you know, who uh, keeps us in business. If you don't know Scott, you should. I just mentioned in brief when we were sitting there for a moment. I said when I first met Scott, I thought, who is this guy? What's he going to do? And of course, uh, we haven't been the same since. But thank you, Scott. And if you don't get the recognition from everybody, you should. But Scott also uses a form of electronic hypnosis. And Diana Barrar, who's supposed to be in here and uh, some way assisting, is in here right now. But she also is in Chicago. Here's Diana Barrar now. Uh, Diana Barrar is speaking Saturday, but also incorporates a method of electronic hypnosis. Now that, that sounds different uh, and maybe even uh, unusual for some of you initially, but uh, Val and I were just speaking before we started and, and she was implying that she had read some of the articles in the journal. Have uh, most of you followed in the journal some of the articles in electronics? Okay. So to give you a little bit of an idea of what I do so I don't reiterate things that I don't need to, but at the same time I'd like to move you through what I do and how come I chose regressions this year. It starts with about five years ago and I came to the guild all excited and, and I just knew that I was going to roll over this place and tell everybody how great electronics were for hypnosis and so I, I did this workshop and I came all prepared and all excited with this uh, great concept of hypnosis to, to earn a living with hypnosis. How many of you earn a living with hypnosis? Okay. Uh, not easy, is it? Sometime. It depends on how you do it. I guess sometime if you think about the fact that you might do a group, maybe you have a hundred people to quit smoking, that'll pay the bills, but what if you hypnotize uh, one person an hour? Uh, do, do you do private, Kenneth? Yeah, one person an hour, is yeah. that? Yeah, okay. So uh, th think of that concept. What's your first name? I don't see a tag. Oh, Paula? Okay, where are you, where are you from, Paula? From Brazil. Well, welcome. How exciting. My, my neighbor upstairs is from Brazil. Wonderful. Uh, okay, so imagine do you also do hypnosis on a one-to-one, -one, Paul? Okay. So Diana Barrar and I, uh, we were on a plane speaking about this concept there, you know, and it was, it, was, it was interesting because we were able to speak about something we both know well, and that is the concept of using electronics to hypnotize people. And we began to speak about whatever you might do for a living. I, I recall once, this might be about, oh, 10, 12 years ago, uh, there was a person in Chicago who was attempting to set up a kind of a full-style clinic on hypnosis.